Hi, welcome to the absolutely improvised monologue. You know what the drill, the thing is down there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so here we go. Every Saturday morning, my father and I would wake up, have a cigarette, have a cup of coffee, get in his car, usually a big Chevy, the biggest Chevy he could find, and we would head west. No destination in mind. Just head west. Never on expressway, always a two-lane highway, always west. We never had a plan. We just wanted to drive. He wanted to talk to me about anything, about 1940s West Virginia, about 1950s Warren, Ohio, about the war. Now, to be clear, it was the conflict. It wasn't a war. It was a conflict. Also, to be clear, he spent most of it in Japan having a ball. But the one thing that I always got a kick out of when, uh, when, when my father and I would go on these trips is he loved this guy called Roger Whitaker. Now, back in those days, uh, Roger Whitaker's All My Best was a big deal. You send away for the 8-tracks or, you know, whatever. If you're under 30, you're going to have to Google 8-tracks. And my father would... would, would he got that, uh, that, he got to say all my best. And we'd be bowling down some highway at 70 miles an hour, all the windows down, cigarette ash flying back in our face because, you know, you got to smoke. And, uh, and the song uh, Whiskey in the Jar would come on. And my father would sing along. And at the point where, the, where, the, where Roger would say, Stand you and deliver! He would, he would become this operatic viking or something or or or, or king oberon or, and and i and i and i always remember that because my father was not theatrical he loved the theater my father loved to go to the theater but he wasn't what you would call theatrical but when that song came on he became the 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 magistrate of some magical irish forest stand you and deliver he loved it. Every every chance we got, we drove. We would end up in some little town uh, about the size of a Band-Aid. They'd always have two bars in a church. We'd get a sandwich or two, and we'd get a soda or a beer, whatever. Uh, but we always enjoyed our time together. We enjoyed the stories. He enjoyed hearing about my, my writing or my exploits, and I loved hearing about him growing up in, the, in West Virginia but nothing nothing will ever beat watching him sing Whiskey in the Jar right alongside with Roger Whitaker so while we were getting all of his best dad was giving all of his best stand you and deliver <laughs>